Big Z uh, varying on the minutes, but Coach, uh, nice to see him get off early. Coach Bolster goes to him early to try to get him involved in the offense. Ben Gordon, uh, last minute fill-in for the injured Rodney Stuckey. Gordon, the seven-year veteran out of Connecticut. Yeah. That pass was a little low for him, Eric. It was down near his waist, which made him smaller than 7-3. Nice work by T-Mac, setting up the score for Greg Monroe, the 6-11 rookie out of Georgetown. The thing about self-will, that guys like he and Wade can self-will themselves into playing better when they played poorly the night before. McGrady missing on the post up and Look on the heat. The heat did not... Plane did not land till 4.15 this morning. Probably didn't get to bed before 5 o'clock after playing in New York la last night. The Pistons were in Miami, did not play Thursday evening. Now that's a Drunas coach. He already has five rebounds, so the lack of sleep not hurting Big Z so far. Another missed shot, though, for Miami, and here comes Tracy McGrady. Underneath, that's Prince with a score. First bucket for the former Kentucky star. Early on, the execution not good either. Miami 4 of 15 here in the opening quarter and ahead by two. I think what everyone's saying, Eric, is that how important Chris Bosch is to this team. You know, LeBron statistics when the playoffs come around, well, that's dangerous to do that because some of the things that happen, guys might be out. It's tonight. Miller, of course, last home game had 32 points. Followed that up, the game against Toronto with 32 for Miller. He follows that up last night with a scoreless game at the Garden in New York. And Coach, that's too wide a pendulum for Mike Miller. 32 points in one game and stopping twice before in Miami. But the Heat have sent two All-Star starters. Happened with Wade and Shaquille in 07 and in 2006 as well. Pistons have tied the game at 17. That's a tough mid-range shot on the move. Maybe the Royal should use the backboard on that. Now that T-Mac already has six rebounds and just served up his sixth assist on the Chris Wilcox flush. Coach Kuster, the head coach of the Pistons, was talking about how McGrady has done a great job playing the point guard position today. Tracy McGrady deflecting that out of bounds. Tracy McGrady making his 16th start of the year, his ninth in a row. The NBA's number 62nd all-time leading scorer with almost 18,000 career points. Tonight he's been the Pistons' setup man. We have under a minute left. First quarter, Detroit leads by two. James Jones just got that three away. It's a 24-second violation since the ball never got rimmed. Good closeout by McGrady made James rush that shot, not really get good follow-through on it. James is 0 for 4 from the floor tonight. One of the reasons that he was taken out of the lineup uh, initially was because McGrady was playing so well at point, and they were playing him with Rodney Stuckey and using Ben Gordon off the bench as their third guard. So John Kuster basically said, you know what, we're 5 and 4. Four seconds left, first period. McGrady fading left and off target. Now, Tracy McGrady missed all five of his shots in the first quarter, but he did come up with six rebounds and had an assist on six of their nine field goals. LeBron has 13, but the Pistons have the lead. Tremendous amount of pride in how he takes care of himself, and uh, his basketball IQ is off the charts. And, uh, again, his ability to run our team has been so impressive, and that's the thing that's helped us so much so far. And T-Mac tonight, 0 for 5, as Eric told you, but doing a really good job of setting up teammates. He does. He reads the defense very well. He knows where his teammates are. It, does, it always helps to throw the ball to Ben Gordon, though, because that guy will score from anywhere. But T-Mac's got six assists, six rebounds, controlling the tempo of the game without scoring a point. That, that's attested to his uh, basketball IQ, as Coach Kuster just talked about. Danny? Here's Miller. He's now 0 for 4. McGrady got a block on that. Eight on the shot clock. Off the deflection. Here's Miller. McGrady with a second block on the same possession against Mike Miller. That's six for Miami. Nice pass. T-Mac setting up Greg Monroe. Another silver platter assist for Tracy McGrady. That's seven times for T-Mac. Greg Monroe with four points. And the Heat are trying to trap McGrady coming off the screen, but it... And, of course, Tracy McGrady. Last year, McGrady played just 30 games, six for Houston, and then 24 with the Knicks. And your AT&T U-verse poll question, who would have had the best career had it not been?
in for injury. You can text your choice to 789-789. Message and data rates may apply. We will show you the results during Jason Jackson's Heat Live postgame show. What do you think, Eric? I think Tracy McGrady. Coach. I would go McGrady. I think he was the most talented of the three. Led the league in scoring twice. Seven-time All-Star. I think he could do things that the other two couldn't do. 2.38 remaining. Second quarter here in Miami. The Pistons leading it by three. Each last lead came with two minutes left in the first quarter at 17 to 15. Charlie Villanueva missing the turnaround. LeBron tips it to himself. LeBron coast to coast and a nice looking block for Tracy McGrady. Who this is a loss in the NBA. Pistons lead by four. Tracy McGrady, even though he only scored one point in the first half, might have been the best player on the floor with seven assists, six rebounds, and three blocks. Right now. 16 points, by the way, for Ben Gordon. A seven-point lead for the Pistons. And Prince rolls it home. Detroit now leads it by nine. This is the largest advantage the Pistons have enjoyed all night. Ten rebounds. His second double-double in the last three games. Peter down one. Day on the open turnaround. Spins around before falling. That pass wasn't even to him, Eric. It was supposed to go to Gordon in the corner. The day at 6'11 intercepted the pass from his own teammate and, and buried the shot. The 10th straight game that Hamilton has not played, and in the last few, he hasn't even showed up at the arena out with the flu. McGrady for three. It's good. T Mac, the only thing he hasn't done tonight is score. He has four points, 10 assists, seven rebounds, and three block shots. And coach, the Pistons lead by eight. They've scored seven straight points. Good job. Coaches, there's a lot of reasons why coaches may go to the zone. One of them is to try to stop the momentum of a team. And one of the problems though playing the zone is that you don't have a particular guy to box out. Coach, watching Tracy McGrady tonight has been a revelation. This is a guy that's been first team All-NBA twice. Twice he's led the NBA in scoring. And now he's becoming a big time setup man. He's looking more for his teammates than he is for shots. There's another nice dish. Got the loose ball from Wilcox and put it in. Tracy McGrady continues to do it all for the Pistons tonight. Yeah, ball went right to him. Wilcox lost it on the way up, went right to McGrady. Teams under 500 this year. Second best record against under 500 teams in the NBA. McGrady drives hard again for a score. Now, like T-Mac is going off. He's got seven of his eight points here in the third quarter. Yeah, looks like he was saving himself to score in this third quarter. So the Pistons with their largest lead of the night. LeBron bites into it with a three. Comes off the Eddie House screen wide open. LeBron James with 29 points. Only the third triple for Miami in 16 tries. And Detroit's going to go to the hot hand and McGrady. McGrady on the turnaround. That's a tough one. And he is feeling it now. Ten points to go along with. 10 assists, 8 rebounds, and 3 blocks. T-Mac heading toward a triple-double. And the NBA is about matchups and playing the hot hand. We were talking about T-Mac, Eric. We mentioned without the injury, without the surgeries, the man was headed to the Hall of Fame, playing like a Hall of Famer tonight. Got a spin move to the basket. And being hot, he got over, goes over the right shoulder, even though Miller's wide all, all over him. He buries the J. Well, the renaissance of Tracy McGrady, who was the ninth pick in the 97 draft of the Toronto Raptors, spent three years there, then four in Orlando, five and a half in Houston before playing most of last year with the New York Knicks. This seven-time All-Star twice led the NBA in scoring, including his 32-point-per-game season in Orlando back in the 0-2-0-3 season. Last year, he averaged just nine points a game in 24 games with the New York Knicks. And now tonight in his 16th start of the year and his 10th in a row in place of Rip Hamilton. T-Mac already with a double-double. Coach, he's zeroing in on a triple-double, and he's impacted the game on the defensive end as well. Hey, he's two rebounds away from his, the fifth triple-double of his career. He played and lost last night in New York. The Pistons have been off a couple of nights since losing to Denver. Another rebound for Joel. 22 minutes of action. And he got a quick blow, and now he's back in. 
Villanueva shoots it over the top of Eddie House. McGrady, that should have been basket interference, and it is. Yes. That time McGrady was being guarded by Chalmers. There's nothing Chalmers could do with that. You see as McGrady had the inside track right there. Ball was in the cylinder. Well, two finals are in. Indiana shoots 63% in their 124-92 victory over the Nets, including seven in this quarter. First tie since it was 14-all. McGrady unties it very quickly. Tracy McGrady, 12 points to go along with 10 assists, 8 rebounds, and 3 blocks. Miami, their 10th turnover tonight. They had, had 8 at halftime. Now you can see Chalmers again having trouble guarding McGrady. Join the club. Fourth foul on Mario Chalmers. Doing a good job against Chalmers with that 7 inches that he had over him. Quick shot by t -Man. And LeBron backing up for his 7th rebound. Good shot. That high screen and a fade by House, and a good delivery again by LeBron. Eddie House has nine of his 13 points in the fourth quarter. Tracy McGrady comes back with another score. McGrady with 14, the Pistons down one. Also good play by John Custer during the timeout as McGrady gets a layup. Under two minutes left, House inside. Joel Anthony had the ball knocked away, and Anthony hit it out of bounds. See what happened here. Joel didn't catch that ball. Oh, he got hit on the arm. Oh, terrific play by McGrady. Yeah, I thought he hit him on the right arm, but it did go off of Joel. Tracy McGrady has put his footprint, his handprint, every print on this ball game. He needs to keep those strong closeouts on the perimeter, not allow the three-point shot. Prince for three. Ricochets out and right back to Detroit. 17 offensive rebounds. There's been a number of those rebounds tonight. Day's got a wide open three. James Jones runs at him, but he uses a little escape dribble and buries the three. Austin Day has tripled three times, twice. Key possession of the game. Good rotation by the Heat. Got solid D right here. Prince. And LeBron James with his eighth rebound. Good defense by Miller. Who's got 39. High screen for Eddie House. House drives, puts up a tough shot and drew a foul. With six and a half seconds left in the game, Ben Gordon fouled an off-balance Eddie House, and now House will go to the free throw line for the first time tonight, needs one the tie, and two for the Heat to go ahead. What Coach Bolster did was he had Eddie House set the screen, and then as both defenders went towards LeBron, that left Eddie House open for a second. Ben Gordon tried to close on him. Eddie House took him off the dribble and drew the foul. Eddie House, 20 of 21 from the foul line this year. First trip there tonight. Eddie House lives for this moment, Eric. He does. He really does. Coach, he has 10 of his 14 points here in the final quarter. And the Pistons have three timeouts left. They're going to call a timeout here, I would imagine. Either way this shot goes. And then the Heat, you got to remember the Heat has a foul to give. So this can be an important play by the Heat defensively as they go over this in the timeout. Right now, it's Eddie's house. Out when he gets a full head of steam, foul him on the dribble. Here comes yes. T-Mac. They and do a take foul. a foul with yes. 2.7 seconds to play. Good play by LeBron James as T-Mac dribbled to the corner, away from the basket, foul him. Now the Pistons will call timeout with 2.7 left. Got as tough as possible. Prince lobbing for Day. He missed it at the rim, and the ball came in. Oh, what a nice play by John Kuster. Day looked like he had an open dunk at the rim, and he missed it. Beautiful play by John Kuster. Side out of bounds to his 6'11 forward. They're going to put that in the... Uh, in the archives because they're going to use that one again. What is it about that Detroit team? They got a nice win on Monday up in Orlando. They push you guys to the edge. They're shorthanded. You're shorthanded. What did you see from them tonight? Um, they're just playing well together right now. I think the change um, at putting T-Mac at the point guard has really helped their team. And, you know, Coach Cuse has been my, he's been my coach before in Cleveland, man. He's always going to have his guys working. And, you know, it, it was a good fight for both teams. And we was glad that we.